With the shutting down of public pools because of the pandemic, swimming pool sales have gone up like crazy, which means water safety is still as important as ever. Tonight, the parents of a four-year-old girl who drowned says their lives changed in a split second, and they hope that other parents can learn from their tragedy. Here's Elvin Lopez. Elliot was really unlike any child that I had encountered. Unbelievably confident, just wise beyond her years for a not quite five-year-old. Elliot was just shy of turning five when she went with her mother, Amy, and her brother, John, to a poolside barbecue in Atlanta. I remember Elliot, after she finished eating, saying, Mommy, can I go see some friends? And saying, yes, you can go see your friends, but you may not get in the pool. After John finished eating, he changed into his swimsuit, and they went to go find his sister. And he's the first one that saw her in the pool. I, I vividly remember somebody screaming, call 911, and then we were in the ambulance on the way to Eggleston. Four-year-old Elliot had drowned. Any split-second decision that takes your eyes off of your child is a bad decision because, as we know, it can happen very quickly. It only takes one inch of water and 30 seconds for a child to drown, and drowning is often silent. It's also the number one cause of death for children ages one to four. And even though many public pools are closed during this pandemic, the message remains important as families turn to other solutions like home pools and inflatable devices. The Givens hope by sharing their story publicly for the first time in six years, that this doesn't happen to anyone else. I know that this was a preventable situation. And if we can prevent this from happening even to one more family, it is the perfect way to honor Elliot. Wow. Children's Healthcare of Atlanta recommends to keep children younger than six years old always within an arm's reach of an adult at all times when you're close to any amount of water. We have more on 11alive.com.